Hello and welcome back to the channel. Hey, I'm Ron with Ideal Industries and in this segment I'd like to talk about the new line of linear compression coax tools from Ideal Industries. Now these tools can compress a, a variety of, of, of coax compression connectors out there and you'll find that the tool is, is made in here in the United States in Sycamore, Illinois. It's a rugged, durable tool. It's going to last you a really long time. Plus, I'd like to think about anybody could afford one of these if you're not a whole lot of money. Now, uh, there are two tools, the X1 and the X3, and uh, let's take a close-up view of these two models, and I'll show you how to use one. Here we're looking at the linear brand of compression tool made by Ideal Industries over here. As a matter of fact, this is the X3 version of the compression tool. And when you look at the tool in the packaging, the tool will come with some free connectors in it, and those are for RG6 and RG6 quad wire, and they're F connectors, by the way. The tool's made in the good old United States, and you'll see the tool will work on uh, connectors putting on, you know, RG59, RG6, and RG6 quad wire. Now, as I take the tool out of the uh, kit here, you see that the tool's nice heavy body here, and it's been powder coated. It should last you quite a long time. The handle here has a nice cushioned uh, textured grip to it, and it just feels good in the old hand right there for one-handed operation. And uh, you'll notice there's no plastic parts anywhere in the tools, either one of them. And so a good tool should be very durable and last you quite a long time. Now, uh, the tool compared to the X1 model here, and you'll see that they look very similar to each other. Now, the big difference is that here in the X3 model, there is a uh, ram that gets moved in and out with that lever. And we can take a screwdriver and make some adjustments on that and screw that either in or out, depending on uh, the type of connector we're trying to terminate. The tool comes factory set. Uh, for F connectors, but if you want to do a B and C or an RCA connector that's a little uh, longer, uh, we can adjust the tool for that operation. So uh, if you want to do a multiple of different types of connectors, uh, we'll use the X3. Now the X1 here, you see this RAM is, is factory set for F connectors, and uh, where the X3 tool we can adjust it for B and Cs and RCAs as well. This one will just do F connectors, and uh, if uh, for either a satellite guy or a cable TV guy, this is really all you probably need. Now, in order to put a connector on the end of uh, a piece of wire, we're going to take a piece of RG6 and do a two-step strip like you normally would to it. And uh, make sure you fold back all that braiding on the uh, connector uh, cabling there. Now, in the uh, compression-style coax connectors here, you'll see a, a sleeve here in the back. And the sleeve is going to get pushed forward until it's up against the round part of the back end of that nut. And the tool is going to compress the connection and uh, hence the name of the connectors. Now, we'll very simply just uh, insert the cable into the back of the connector here and you need to make sure the white dielectric is even or flush with the opening in the bottom of the fitting down there and then that center conductor is going to load right in through the hole or opening in the front of this little ram and as you can see we're going to place the connector between the ram and the uh, back end of the die there and very simply we're going to take the tool and compress the connector down you can see it close up there and that gap is completely gone. And that is a properly terminated RG6 compression connector onto a piece of RG6 coaxial cable. Hey, I'm Ron with Ideal Industries. Thanks for coming. I'll see you the next time.